Hello, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography, and today I'm going to be going over my sports workflow. I use this workflow when I'm shooting uh, sports for the newspaper. It's the fastest thing that I've found. Um, it's pretty accurate and makes your life a whole lot easier, at least I think it does. Um, the program that I use is a program called Photo Mechanic, and it's a fantastic program. Um, super fast captioning, super fast going through all the photos. Um, you can FTP photos straight from here, put them on Flickr, put them wherever, pretty much wherever you want. Or you can just save the photos if you're using uh, um, for yourself, for your website or something like that. So first things first, what I'm going to do is um, close this down. I'm going to show you. I, I use a lacy drive. Um, I use a lacy drive as a scratch drive. I do that to save my photos. And because um, I don't like keeping anything on my desktop, so I use the Lacy Drive for all my editing. So if something happens to my computer and it dies, I just unplug the drive, plug it into another computer, I'm still good. The other thing I do is I never erase the cards until after the photos are uploaded and they're saved onto my server drives, my network drives. So when I'm uh, a little quick uh, about my uh file naming and stuff like that. I always do year, month, day, and then what it is. So this is 160505. So this was May 5th, 2016 baseball. First Colonial versus Ocean Lakes. And we're going to pop in the drive. You'll see it pop up over here. And the, and Photo Mechanic is automatically going to open. Um, so a little bit about Photo Mechanic right here. Uh, this is the ingest window. Ingest is the same as import. So uh, you're going to select the drive. Obviously, it's the Nikon D3. Um, source directory structure. I always copy all the photos into the same directory and directly in the primary and secondary folders. So over here is the important stuff. Primary folders, you want to select your primary directory. So I'm going to go to the Lacey drive, select the folder that I have set up for it. Uh, you can choose to, to save to a secondary location. I don't. Um, the next thing, copy locked and unlocked photos. I always do both, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Copy raw and non-raw photos. I always shoot raw, but um, if I happen to shoot JPEG, I have I I can import the raw and JPEG at the same time. Apply IPT stationary pad to the photos. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to go to IPTC stationary pad, and this is the stationary pad right here. Um, so fill out all the information right here. I've got the headline and everything, all the basic information, where it was, um, all my information. I'm going to hit close stationary. Um, I'm going to do the apply IPT stationary pad, use global IPT stationary pad. Then I'm going to rename ingested photos as, again, it's year, month, day. Um, I use in EP388. That's a Navy thing when I'm shooting for the Navy. I just use it for everything. It makes it easier. And then sequence, um, set sequence variation. I'm going to hit reset. And so this will this will rename the number 001, 002, or you can set it up for, you know, if you have more than 1,000 photos, 0001 all the way up. I'm going to hit OK. Open contact sheet during ingest. And what that's going to do is it's just going to show you the photos as they're importing. I never, 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 never select erase source disk. I always do that in the camera, and like I said before, I always do that after the photos are ab absolutely completed and they're sent off and they're on my uh, network drive. And then unmount the sort to source disk after the ingest. Um, so I can just pull it out when I'm done. So we're going to hit ingest, and you can see down here in the bottom left, it's going to start copying the photos in. Um, as the photos are coming in, a couple quick things. When I'm at a game, now obviously this is a baseball game, during breaks in the action, what I'll do is I will chimp. I'll roll through like between batters and stuff like that or when the ch teams are changing um, from fielding to batting. I'll roll through the photos and I will pick out a couple photos that I think are pretty good. And on the back of my camera, I have a Nikon and it's got a little lock button. It looks like a key. Hit that and it'll lock the photo so you can't delete it from the camera. Um, now what that does 
is when you import them into Photo Mechanic, it has this little check mark right here. Um, makes it really easy to sort here so shortly when the photos are done copying. Now also, if you look here in the lower left, there's this little microphone looking thing, speaker looking thing. Um, I give myself notes. Um, so on the back of the camera, I push the microphone and I'll say something like for this photo right here, um, I think this is 15, this looks like 15. So I'd say something like white 15, throw to first for the out, you know, first inning, score, whatever, whatever. So that way when I'm writing the captions, and I'll show you this in a second, it makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. So you don't have to remember because this is, this is the sequence that I shot as soon as my computer stops acting up. So this is the sequence that I shot. Now if I roll through this, you can't really tell what number this guy is. So even if I zoom in, oh, this is actually 10. But, yeah, so this is 10. So it would be white 10, throw the ball to first for an out. Um, but a lot of times you don't have that. You know, like if this was the sequence right here, well, that's, well this is a perfect example. You don't know what number this guy is. So if you see even on the next, so if you don't have, if you don't have a reference, see how I have the little waveform right here? I would never know who that one was, especially looking at this sequence. So it's just another pointer. Um, now if I go to, go to view and I can do tagged, it'll show me all the photos that I locked and pretty much all these have, um, the little the little uh, speaker thing here. Um, now once the photos are done, what I'll do is I'll roll through and I'll select some of the photos that I like. So we'll go through here real quick. And this is about how fast that I do it. Um, I'll just roll through the photos that, that I think are good. The ones you want, um, I want to see eyes, I want to see faces, I want to see expressions. Um, that's a pretty good one. See a lot of these, they don't have eyes. The, that ball is a little too far away for me. Um, that's a pretty good one. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, we got a little bat on ball with a face. And I'm actually not the greatest bat on ball, but for not shooting baseball in about five years, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's a pretty good filler if you're looking for something long. Um, Foul ball, I don't like that one. Pitching shot. Uh, another pitching shot. And we'll go with that one. So now that i got some photos tagged, I'm going to go down here bottom right. And all the way to the right, if you highlight this, it says high color class none. So if I click that, only the photos that I tagged came up. So now what I can do is I can go through and I can see that I have all all my other stuff so I don't have to go through and type all this and but I can do something like Ocean Lakes gets excited prior to Thursday night's game against first colonial. Now these aren't the greatest captions I wouldn't you know it'd be something a little more than that but if you hold now I'm obviously on a Mac um, if you hold command and you do bracket left and right it'll save and go to the next photo now this is where the um, the wave the little wave files come in so I can hit play so I said white one still second blue five so I know this is white number one, that's blue five, and he stole second. So I could do, and this is where the the code replacements come in. Now I don't have my code replacement set up for this, but I would do a code replacement that would do white one, steal second, base against G, against blue five. Now, obviously, white one, I would use the code replacement, his name and the team and everything would go in during Thursday night's game. 
So that's how that would work. So I would use code replacement. So this would be first colonial, whoever he is, and his number still second base against Ocean Lakes, whatever his name is, during Thursday night's game. Um, so I would go through, caption all these photos, and then this is how simple it is. File, save photos as, JPEG, hi, preserve EXIF information, apply the cropping. Oh, I didn't talk about cropping. So if you want to, uh, if you want to crop, if you double click on this, you can click this little tool right here. You have your settings so you can set your constraints crops. I use a three, four crop, um, seems to work the best. And I can just go and do something like this. If you want to crop, um, I try not to, but I haven't shot baseball in a while. So, you know, yeah. So once you do that, if you back out, you can see it just has the bounding box. So I'm going to select all these photos, save photos as, Cropping, apply the cropping, scaling to fix fit box. Um, this is set up for the newspaper. Um, they want 12 inches on the long on the long side. Uh, resolution 240, so I have all that set up. Um, and then I'm going to do create subfolder PM. That's for photo mechanics. So that means it's going to save the folders in the original just in a separate folder at the very top because it's got the little underscore there. So I'm going to hit save. It's going to save these real quick. And if I go back into the lazy drive, so this is the original folder. Here's all the photos. And photo mechanic. And if you look, here's the photos. That one's the one that's cropped. Um, it applied all the cropping and stuff like that. Now from here, you know, if I had actually gone through and cropped everything, what I could do is I could just send them right to the newspaper or to wherever they're going. Or I would open up this folder in Lightroom and do corrections and stuff like that and just save right to this folder. But typically for the newspaper, this is the workflow. This works pretty good. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything you would like to see, go ahead and let me know. S leave a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe. Um, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.